don't know where the idea came from. I think it was just trying to think of a really straight date in terms of just a bar, keep it really simple, and then to try and think of the most unusual thing that could happen on that date. We're shooting in a pub um, just by Tower Bridge, the Bulls Brothers, um, and we're shooting all the the, the entire date really. Um, and, and particularly today, we're focusing on the end of the date. So just after um, Jenny has discovered that Nick has been up to no good with the waiter in the toilets. Hold it back! I don't have your wallet. Don't give me that shit. You think I'm a moron? Sorry. What do you think I was going to have it back? I don't have your wallet. Don't fucking bring it. you have a very fixed idea in your head when you're writing a script but it's amazing how when the perfect actor comes along and does it, it they bring even more things that you could never have imagined um, because they're so right they kind of bring a certain depth and um, so I think the perfect cast is key in fact it kind of is everything because the wrong casting probably kills something whereas the right casting makes it even better uh, I play Nick with very confident, seemingly, um, by side trader. Uh, so, you know, moneyed, you know, whether he's as successful as he's attempting to portray, uh, sort of for the audience, I suppose, to judge. Um, and uh, obviously, he's keeping this sort of secret that, uh, you know, he has sexual proclivities that he's uh, trying to mask. What I'm sort of interested by with Nick is that he almost switches, like, Invisibly, you know, one minute he's saying something really nice to Jenny, and the next thing he's actually whipping it, whipping the rug out from under her. So he both kind of gives her a compliment and then says something really quite viciously insulting. And I think with somebody like Jenny, who's kind of taking the date at face value and kind of has lots of hope for the date, I think that it's it's hard for her to read what's happening in the situation. So I think. Even though he, Nick might not necessarily be a nice guy, I think he's quite intriguing for the fact that he isn't just horrible or isn't just nice. He's kind of both at the same time. Oh, I just can't bear all that false modesty crap. You, know? you tell a woman she's beautiful, she says she's fat. Jenny, I think, is a really sweet person. I think she's quite um, wholesome in one way and quite conventional in another way in that she just kind of wants the simple things in life. She wants to get married, she wants to have kids, she's a primary school teacher, she likes her job. And then there's a whole other side to Jenny which is sort of um, <laughs> a bit kind of deviant. Let's get the Let's get the Yeah, okay. Just to say, okay, that's this maker, just a little bit more towards this, that's just not a little bit of a or something general that takes us through. That was a lot. It's been good, yeah. Uh, we did a couple of days rehearsal, which is rare, and it was great and good to go through the scripts in that way, and, um, you know, we laughed a lot as well, which is always good. Um, working with Sheridan's great, she's... Uh, she's a great actress, and she doesn't... Um, you know, it's, no matter how she does it, it's believable and honest and, uh, you know, she's just great. She gives you lots. She put, she's as present in the scene when, you know, she's not on camera as when she is. It's been a, a great joy. I think it's a very ambitious idea, dates. Um, I think that's because Brian is brilliant at coming up with ambitious ideas and just going with them. And uh, that's what I really liked about it. It is a challenge, I think, for TV because we're not used to that. We're so used to kind of fast cuts and stories being told really quickly. And I think there's a tempo with dates that you sort of, we just, you sort of have to just settle into it and go with it. I think we have to all really commit to the concept, which is that yes, it's just two people, it's one date, it's one night, and, and make that work. But I think um, restrictions can actually be brilliant and you can come up with brilliant ideas within a confined setup. I think that's what we were aiming to do.